Am I wrong for telling my sister that she should have gone to college if she wanted a life like mine? My sister and I are twins, 33 female. We come from a culture where arranged marriages are an option. Mostly, they are blind dates set by a matchmaker. And if you are compatible, you marry. When we both graduated high school, my sister, who, by the way, was valedictorian, chose not to attend college. She asked for an arranged marriage since all she wanted to be was a wife and a mother. Nothing wrong with that. My parents, who are a love match, tried to convince her to at least get her bachelor's. She refused. I, on the other hand, started attending an engineering college. I studied computer engineering. A year later, she married a man that she met through the matchmaker. He's a very nice guy, a teacher, and treats my sister like a queen. The thing is, he was just a freshly hired teacher. My sister went from living in a double-income house with parents both being high earners, a doctor and a lawyer, to a single-income house on a teacher's salary. I graduated at 23, started working as a cybersecurity personnel for a big bank. After two years of dating around, I too asked for an arranged marriage. My husband is a business owner, real estate developer, and he makes a lot more than I do. He also comes for money. My sister didn't like him from the get-go. She even threw a tantrum, thankfully in private, at my wedding. Apparently, the bride gifts he brought were tacky more like very expensive, more than what her husband could get her. The problem is that my first child is now at the age where she'll be starting preschool. We signed her for a private school. The monthly tuition is more than what her husband makes a year. When she heard this, she just exploded. She was ranting about how it's not fair that our kids will not have equal opportunities. How the only reason I could live like I do was that my parents chose a better husband for me. I became angry for how she treats me, how unfair she was to her husband and my parents. I told her I got matched with a better husband because I am a college-educated woman with a respectable job and that wealthy men using matchmakers don't want 19-year-old high school graduates. Their standards are higher. I told her that her husband is a wonderful man who loves her, but if all she wanted was a wealthy man, she should have gone to college. Now she has no contact with me and says I'm an elitist asshole. So am I? Am I wrong for returning the shoes I got from my husband after he accused me of stealing from him? My, 29, husband, 36, is the breadwinner of the family. I stay home with the kids who are preschool age. He pays for the mortgage, bills, household needs, food, kids' needs, etc. He has set a monthly budget for each category and handles getting everything done. Recently, he has become overwhelmed and told me to handle grocery shopping, but before he let me, he asked me to write a list of all the stuff we need so he could calculate the total and also so he'd have an idea of how much I'll be spending when I take his credit card. I didn't have an issue with that because this way we'd watch our spending habits. However, he said I'm never allowed to get something that isn't on the list unless I'm paying for it some other way. Huh? On Friday, I was doing some grocery shopping as usual and saw that the store had some nice shoes on sale. The price was insanely low for this brand and so I decided to grab a pair from my husband thinking he'd be happy with them since he needed new sneakers anyway. I bought them and when I showed them to him, he flipped out on me saying I made a huge mistake by buying something that wasn't on the list. I agreed with him but I thought that since the shoes were for him, then it'd be different. He said I screwed up and shouldn't have bought those sneakers without telling him. To my defense, I said the price was so low and it's not like I spent $100 on shoes. And also, I saw this as a great deal and wanted him to have those nice sneakers. He plainly said that what I did is considered stealing since he never consented to have those sneakers purchased and said that I'm being irresponsible with money, that is why I no longer have an income and my spending habits need a grip. We argued about it for hours and he avoided speaking to me for the rest of the day. The next day, I went and returned the sneakers and took the money back. He got home in the evening and lost it when he found out. He said he couldn't believe how petty and childish I was to actually do this. I explained that I was just correcting my mistake. He tried to contact the store and was told the sneakers were already sold. He got even angrier with me, but I told him that he accused me of stealing from him when I was just trying to do a nice gesture. He yelled that I had a lot of nerve calling what I did a nice gesture while using his money to do it. I told him he had no right to yell at me after I corrected my mistake and gave back the money he accused me of stealing. He threw a fit, then went out to his friends and came home late at night still not talking to me. So am I wrong here? Am I wrong for calling my brother's girlfriend disgusting and refusing to meet her? I, 27 female, recently had a very unpleasant encounter with my brother's 32 male new girlfriend, 21 female, that has culminated in the family getting dragged into it. We'll call her Anne. He's been with Anne for about five months, but I've never met her for various reasons from both of our ends. He said he wanted to get to know her properly before introducing her to us all. And I made a crack along the lines of, yeah, well, 12 year olds are known to be unpredictable, which made him sulk for a while too. I probably shouldn't have said that, but the age gap is weird to me. I met up with him a few weeks ago for coffee. The topic of Anne came up briefly, but he just said that the are still together and he liked her, so I was coming around to the idea that I maybe should stop being a judgmental asshole and just meet her. 
After, I went back to my car, grabbed my plastic bags, and went shopping in town. After about an hour, I came back to my car, and it was messed up. It had been scratched, a drink thrown over it, but the worst thing was that someone had smeared blood on my driver door and literally shoved a used feminine hygiene product in the door handle. I had to go back to the store and buy rubber gloves and bleach just to get back into my car. I get home, and I get a text from my brother. He said Anne had confronted him when he got home over his cheating, and she thought I was the other woman and had vandalized my car. He said she was really upset and wanted to apologize to me in person and give me flowers. I said that even if I had been some other woman, that what she did was disgusting and she was nuts. I never wanted to meet her and I expected payment for cleaning and damages. For the last two weeks, it's been this revolting door of my family calling me and telling me to let her apologize. Me letting them know exactly what she did and them mostly agreeing with me in the end. Then I get messages from my brother telling me to stop telling people what happened because it was embarrassing Anne. I had some aunts who are mad at me for even telling them. Make it make sense. And her family are of course livid with me. Not to mention my brother. It's just so much noise in my head that I'm starting to think I should just drop it because I have repaired the damage and had it cleaned. I've sent my brother the bill but not had anything from him yet because he says I've done emotional damage to Anne. Bro, honest to God, I swear, I would have called the cops. I'm petty like that. I would have pressed charge and be like, yo, this person vandalized my car. And you have proof, like the text message proof that or the call that she vandalized your car. You're too nice. I don't care if my brother or not. I would be like, this bitch is crazy. I think it was emotionally damaging to have to see what she did to my car. But in the off chance that I've gone mad and I am overreacting, please tell me. So am I the asshole for calling my brother's girlfriend disgusting and never wanting to meet her because of what she did to my car? Am I wrong for sending the police to my stepsister's wedding? I, 32 female, lost my mom when I was 23. It was by far the most traumatic loss I experienced. It was unfair, untimely, and preventable. I got in therapy and was doing better, but I had issues with my dad's new wife and her daughter, who's 25 and just got married weeks ago. We do not have a close relationship, but we were cordial enough to sit at dinner tables. My stepsister treats me as a relative and was as much distant from me. But after my father got sick, we had to see each other a lot. I'm handling his care while stepmom works full time, and stepsister doesn't do much, though she's always visiting when I moved in to help my dad. I brought with me all of my mom's belongings and my stepsister showed interest in my mom's necklace and asked if she could borrow it to wear it at her wedding. I refused and she tried every method to convince me and I had to put it in a place where I thought it'd be safe after my stepmother got involved. As the wedding approached, they both kept convincing me to let my stepsister have it. She bragged about affording a better one, but it was a matter of showing who's in control. I stood my ground and told them how serious I was, so they backed off. I didn't attend the wedding to stay with my dad. I remember wanting to change where I was hiding the necklace while the house was empty, but I found it was gone. After searching for hours, I called my stepmom and she said not to worry, my stepsister took it and will return it when the wedding is over, but it was clear that I won't see it till after the honeymoon since she and her daughter was staying at the hotel. I screamed at her to return it, but she argued about not wanting to leave the guests and the wedding already started. I told her I'd get it myself, but she forbid me from coming, saying she'd have to keep me out from wanting to make a scene. I called the police and explained to them what was happening. I informed them my stepsister intended to leave for her honeymoon with my property. The police were sent to where the wedding was being held, and they were able to retrieve the necklace from my stepsister. My stepmom returned home and kept shouting at me, calling me petty and crazy, to send the police to my stepsister's wedding, ruining it and humiliating them over a piece of jewelry. She was screaming at my sick dad, telling him to handle me after the stunt that I pulled at the wedding. I defended myself saying I only wanted an item that belonged to me that they took without my permission returned. She argued further that I could have waited to get it back but I chose to burn the bridge with my stepsister and said that she considers me dead after this. She said stuff I can't mention but here's all I can say it was a bad night. I might have overreacted by getting the police involved but I had no guarantee of getting the necklace back since I have experience with them in the past. So was I wrong here? It's simple if you don't want to get the police involved you don't steal people's property. So no, you're not wrong. 